area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. When you go around like that. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. You know, been a little sick this week. That's why you ain't seen me and SP together. You know, niggas be, it's a funny shit be like, you could tell somebody, yo, I'm sick. I ain't been feeling well. Woo -de -woo. First thing they'll jump in the comments and say, well, why SP ain't there? Like that man don't got a family. Like that man don't got kids. You know what I'm saying? They be acting like they blogs be more important than somebody's health. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I don't keep no weight around me, and I tell people don't wait around me, just wait around me. So check this out, um, Hitman Holler, salute to Hitman Holler and all that he has going on personally and professionally, you know, been able to put together this Bags and Bodies. If you have not seen Bags and Bodies on Coastal Rain TV, you know, make sure, like, it's only $6. Like, the thing is, a lot of people be saying, right, oh, I'm not paying for this. I'm not paying for that. Whoop -de -whoop. How much money, ask yourself, how much money do y'all blow on stupid sh every day? You know what I'm saying? Like people go through the drive through People do all of this stuff and they always find a reason to complain about supporting the things, especially when it comes to us. Like, bro, how is things going to grow? How you think people going to build? How you think moves are going to be made if we're not supporting each other? Now, if you don't want to, I get it. I'm not one that's telling you, yo, you need to do this or you need to do that, but... You know, I see people actually out there looking for bootlegs. Like, yo, I want a bootleg. Like, bro, I'm not looking for no bootleg for that man's show. He put a lot of work in. Those MCs came together and worked. And I ain't gonna lie, I was actually very, 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 not actually, I was impressed. A lot of those guys did their thing. It was some good battles on there. Snake Eyes did his thing. Bad News did his thing. You know, J2 is very entertaining. I said it from the beginning, once J2 got in there, if you're not, uh, of any, you know, homophobic or anything like that, you're gonna enjoy the entertainment that he brings. You know what I'm saying? That your boy Peanut, nigga named Rock Lee. It was a lot of people on there that was getting shots to be in a position to do something that they probably would never have even imagined. My man Mac Myron, you know what I'm saying? He had uh, a rollout where they had like a damn near an award show to try to elevate and lift the battle rap culture up to the next level, man. And you gotta respect that. Uh, it was a dope rollout. The show had a lot of ups, you know what I'm saying? They had they had some guests on there. Tay Rock was on there. He did a fire one on one versus Mike Tyson. Our prep, but the funny shit is about Rock. Rock be literally just always making bars, like he's bars, 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 bars. He be writing for battles he don't even have yet. Like I know him well enough to know that he be writing for battles he don't even got, or battles he just got booked for, whatever case may be. But the man's a writing genius, a writing monster. He'll write a verse in no time. Uh, but the elevation of where Hitman Holla is taking things, uh, I think it could be dope for the sport of battle rap altogether. And while he's been doing this, he ain't really been battling a lot himself. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the one thing that Hitman Holla has not been battling a lot himself. But in order to drop your little five, six dollars and be able to support the battle rap culture, Coastal Rain TV, CoastalRain.tv is the website. You can go there. Uh, it's literally, the time you go there, it's simple. You go to the page and subscribe now, $5.99 a month. I pulled it up, you know what I'm saying? Act like y'all niggas know you can watch it anywhere on your phone. Hitman Hollers the first. Like, they really, 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 really working with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they working together to try to get this thing off the ground. And I think it's dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really wasn't, um, I didn't know too much about, like, how it was being rolled out, but it's been rolled out well, and you can get your subscription through there. So, uh, let me see. Let's get to the, uh, to the, to the, to the good goods. So, uh, Hitman Allah has been continuing to work, and he's been continuing to put out this TV show, this content, and, you know, taking battle rap to the mainstream. A lot of people have talked about it for a while, and Coastal Rain TV tweeted this. Taking battle rap from the underground to mainstream has been mumbled about for a while. Bags and bodies cost the CEO, black woman believing in with no investors, loans close to a million dollars, but people want it for free. In this essay, we will. You know what I'm saying? Like saying that, yo, everybody wants something for free, but they don't know that somebody dropped damn near a million dollars on it. Like, come on, y'all gotta be, niggas dropping a million dollars and you can't drop five? You can't drop five? I can drop five, man, I can drop five, man. Like it is what it is. But like I said, uh, him and Holler has been not battling as frequently because uh, 
of everything that he's been having going on. But I will say this, he's been able to build a platform for MCs to get a look that probably would not have got a look or would not have, you know, been able to do their thing and now they're getting a chance to do that. You know what I mean? Like, nobody said it would be on national TV. Like, I think we want this shit to be on, like, BET or somewhere that don't even care about the artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you can drop $5 to see it. If you want to see it. Like, that's how I feel. Uh, and, you know, people have been asking how I felt about it and that's exactly how I feel. Um, so, shout out to Hitman Olive. In other news, uh, there was a tweet that came out this morning where uh, somebody had asked, is Hitman still going to battle Miss Hustle or is he ducking, you know what I'm saying? Or is he still ducking or something like that? Is, is he still ducking Miss Hustle? That's basically what it was, right? And Holler basically responded, no, Hustle co-signed the tweet by like putting a little crying emoji saying like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's basically ducking me. I, I don't know where that came from, but what I will say is, uh. Hitman basically shut down the battle. So here's it was. Yeah, I got it right here. I got it. So uh, someone said, I'm ready for Miss Hustle versus Hitman. Is he still ducking you? And she put up that little tweet right there that said, you know, the crying emoji. He's basically ducking me. And uh, Hitman Holler responded to the tweet, basically saying, like, Miss Hustle co-signed this. The battle's never happening. He don't want to battle her. Um, it is what it is. That man's a star in his own right. He's been doing shit for a while. And you don't have to take battles that you might not want to take or don't have to take at this point in his career, especially with the ventures that he's putting on. Because a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people do say, oh, you know, we're going to do this for battle rap. We're going to do that for battle rap. Talk this and that family shit. Get to the money and don't get a family. It's just how it be. Um, but proud of him. Cali Smooth was definitely one of the movers in there. Uh, he was rapping about some shit. I ain't gonna hold you. He definitely had some bars. He said this one joint where he was, he had to like do his name and he used all of the S's, the smooth, the smooth. They, they gave everybody a letter. And the one thing I will say about the production and about the way the show was put together, it was phenomenal because they had him doing a lot of different things like five on fives, freestyles, taking a letter and having to rap about it, taking a person's name and all of this other stuff that show the versatility in a lot of these artists, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you, if it's just battle rap, motherfuckers just battling, the battle be over. Nah, I want to see how versed you are and how, 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 how quick you can come up with witty freestyles and stuff like that. And Cali Smooth always been one of them ones. So I was not surprised when I heard or saw that he either won the money or went pretty far. I think he won the money. Yeah, yeah I ain't finished the whole joint, but I watched a lot of it yesterday. I'll finish it today. But overall, production was well, house was well, put all them people up in the crib, you know, got everybody looks, attention, and you know, that's good for battle rap. How could it not be? You know what I'm saying? How could it not be? Huh? Ain't no choice, scrap. I ain't sick no more. You hear my getting my voice back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could it not be good for battle rap with somebody putting on for the culture and getting people looks that they probably would have never got? Without asking for nothing back, because you know nowadays, anytime a nigga do some shit for you, they want some shit back. Hold on, hold on. Is my mic right? All right, cool, we good. But yeah, every time somebody do something, they want something back. But to see him do that, out the generosity and the kindness of his heart to put people on, you gotta respect that. If you can't respect that, your whole perspective is wacky. You hear me? Um, but yeah, uh, coastalrain.tv is the website. Uh, I would have spoke about this yesterday or the day before but like i said i really been uh, a little under the weather pertaining to it but um i love what hitman holler has been able to do for the battle rap community i think more people when they get in position should step up and uh you know help help push this thing to the next level because the leagues can only do but so much the media could do only but so much i know niggas be talking about they hate the bloggers they don't fuck with the bloggers the only thing a nigga ever take from me when i see him is advice so i can't tell it's just some shit that lives on the internet because when you see people in the streets they love you but i get it the internet is a different place uh but yeah we can't do everything you know what i'm saying i know people be like thinking that the bloggers are superheroes and you got bloggers that you love you got bloggers that you hate i know there's people that there's a lot of people that don't like me and that's i love it you know you embrace the people who love you. You embrace the people that fuck with you. Everybody else, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, it's, and at the end of the day, in a large scale perspective, what else matters? Uh, hope all is well with y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing. 
Uh, thank y'all for watching this. Subscribe to the channel, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me, gang.